Welcome back boys and girls, we're going to continue on with our Hornet tutorial series and we're going to go through setting up the situational awareness page, or the SA page as it's known, in the Hornet so you uh, can engage targets or get a better understanding of the airspace and uh, choose your targets wisely instead of just flying in blind and getting shot down all the time. So first things first, what the hell is the SA page, how do I get the SA page up? So on the bottom DDI that's the one I like to use for my SA page but you can do it on any of these so you just press the middle middle bottom row button all right you want to go to the TAC it's got support and TAC so press it till it press, says TAC and you can do that on any of these MFDs there to work so set up the SA page on anything you want make sure in the TAC display and right here SA click that boom we're on our SA page all right so let's turn that off for a second and this off let's go through the next thing so now we've got our SA page up you can see we've got a on our RWI here we've got an E2 and an 18 nails okay so we've got a friendly 18 because you can tell because it's got a, a nice dome over the top if it was an enemy it would be a triangle and our E2 we know that's a early warning radar it's our Hawkeye flying around but we don't know where the fuck they are on our, on our display there's nothing there because our data link isn't turned on so you can do this on the ground, you can set your data link up before you get airborne. One less thing to worry about when you get in the air. Definitely recommend doing it before you get wheels up so that you are good to fight straight away and not shoot so shoot it, shoot down a friendly. So what are you going to do? Press DL. It'll bring up this ARC FF1, FF2, VOC A, VOC B. And this part here is blank. So we need that to say on 127. So all you're going to do, come down to this, press and hold on off till it turns on, on 127, that's it, data link is on, IFF, same deal, 1234, don't even worry about any of that shit, just press on, bam, okay, so now we've got IFF on, data link is on, and you can see down here, on our data link, or our SAs page, we're getting some contacts being fed to us from the AWACS, so we're going to quickly now go through the two buttons you're going to bind here, uh, wrong thing, adjust control, so you want to bind, AMPCD PB8 and AMPCD PB19 to something on your keyboard or your HOTAS or whatever. It's going to make your life a lot easier to sort through the SA page. And I'll explain how right now. So, AMPCD push button 8 is this guy right here. Okay, so because I use the bottom DDI or MFD, whatever you're going to call it, that there, AMPCD push button 8 correlates to the scale okay so I can press the scale and I can cycle between 160 mile 80 mile 40 mile 20 mile 10 mile 5 mile and it just rotates through so as you obviously expand out you can see more information so that is the scale button if you don't have your SA page on the bottom one if you like to have your SA page on this you just bind right MDI push button 8 because on your SA page that's where the scale is okay so whatever one you use, make sure you bind the appropriate MDI, uh, DDI, whatever you call it, okay? Make sure you do that. But we're just going to assume that you're going to be setting up the bottom one. All right. So once you've uh, you've bound that push button, I've got that bound to spacebar for me, by the way. Press spacebar, it cycles through. Nice and quick. So I don't have to press my button. I don't have to move down and click it with my mouse. I can just cycle through. I don't have to have the uh, SA pages soy. None of that shit. I can just press spacebar and quickly change the range of my SA page as I see fit. Next thing we're going to go through is the next button, which you're going to bind is AMPCD push button 19, which is step. So what happens when you press step, click it, it's going to highlight and box a, uh, a data link contact on your SA page. You press it again, it'll cycle. And it just steps through every single contact that is on your screen. What that does, it gives you information which makes your life a lot easier to salute the radar, to lock people up, find them and shoot them. So what that is telling us, what does that number mean? So the left number is their airspeed in Mac. So he's doing 0.4 Mac and he is at Angels 30.8, so 30,800 feet. That's his altitude. Let's go to the next guy. This guy is doing 0.4 Mac and he's at Angels 8.9 or 8,900 feet. And the other guy, 0.6 Mac, 23,900 feet, or Angel's 23.9. So you can quickly cycle through each contact, get their angels, their altitude, and also what direction they're flying. So if I just 
Uh, let's quickly get rid of that. Okay, so you can see there's like a little little tail sticking out. So this guy here is flying straight at me. This guy is flying across from me. This guy is flying kind of from my left to right. Okay, so you can look at what direction they're flying. So if that guy was a, uh, if the, all these were enemy aircraft, this guy obviously is going to be my biggest threat because he's the closest to me and he's flying straight at me. All right. This guy, he's not really a worry because he's kind of flying away. This guy is going to be a problem if, that, if this was a uh, enemy aircraft. It's not, it's a friendly, but if it was a red, di a red diamond pointing this way, I'd have to start worrying about him after I took care of this guy. So you can kind of see what the aircraft are doing, where they're flying, and you can get their information. So I know he is 0.4 Mac, Angel's 8.7, and also down here gives you their bearing and their range. So I know he is bearing 335 for me, and he's at 18 mile from me. Okay, he's 18 miles away. So that is definitely, if that was a bandit, I would be uh, shooting him in the face right now and defending like crazy because there'd be 100% a missile on its way to me if it's not already been fired. Uh, so that is how you use the SA page. So just bind step, bind uh, scale, and you can quickly cycle through the contacts as you see fit. All right, hope that helped, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.